Welcome back to Tennis Talk, my name's Cam Williams, and we have some serious doubt over whether some of the best players in the world are actually going to be playing at the Australian Open next month. We have some massive players that have already pulled out, so let's go to the withdrawal list for the women and the men, and then talk about the players that might not even make the trip to Australia. So let's start with the players that have confirmed they're not playing the Australian Open on the women's side. Bianca Andreescu, she's pulled out. Carolina Pliskova has pulled out with a hand injury. Last year's semi-finalist Mukova has also pulled out, along with last year's finalist Jen Brady. She's out as well, and Serena Williams has also pulled out of the event. Going over to the men's side now, and the major names that have pulled out, Roger Federer, he's pulled out with that knee injury. Guido Pello has also pulled out. Former champion Stan Wawrinka, he's pulled out. Milos Raonic is the latest player to pull out on the men's side, and one of the best doubles players in the world, Herbert, has also pulled out of the Australian Open. Now let's look at the players that are in doubt to play the Australian Open because they've either cancelled events before the Australian Open or pulled out of those events, or for the most part, they've got COVID over the last week or so. Novak Djokovic, we have no idea what his plans are. Pulled out of the ATP Cup and looks like he's not going to play any warm-up events, so if he does play the Australian Open, it'll be without any matches, which is very dangerous. Rafa Nadal, he went back to Spain after getting COVID at the Abu Dhabi event, along with a bunch of other players. There's a bit of a question mark on whether Rafa's going to play. He is supposed to be playing in a Melbourne event at the start of the season and though, so maybe he does play. Dominic Team, he's cancelled a bunch of events, including the ATB Cup. He also didn't play in the Abu Dhabi event pulling out of that one at the last minute, so we don't know if Team's going to be playing. Belinda Bencic, she should be playing the events leading up to the Australian Open, but she did get COVID as a part of that Abu Dhabi event. Along with Ons Jabor, she also got COVID from that event, but again, she is supposed to be playing, but still, you never know how long these last, and of course, the Australian Open have very strict COVID rules. And Andre Rublev, add him to the list of COVID cases as well, because he just got COVID in the last 24 hours as a part of that Abu Dhabi list again, he is supposed to be playing the ATP Cup with Team Russia, but he might have to pull out of that event if he doesn't recover in time. So there you have it, the players that have withdrawn and the players that it's a bit of a question mark on whether they're playing because they've either withdrawn from tournaments or they got COVID over the last couple of days. Let me know down in the comments below. How many of the players are, that are in doubt do you think will actually play? Do you think Djokovic is going to play? Do you think Rafa's going to play? Do you think Team's going to play? They're the three big ones for me that I have no idea. I wouldn't be surprised if they all pull out because they have cancelled events going into the Australian Open. So preparations for the Australian Open start in a couple of days and there's some big question marks over the best players in the world.